This is Silver State Sites, a tour of the most interesting places in Nevada that you can enjoy on a day trip. Uh, it's a nation within a state. And it's less than an hour away. Colorado News Now's Ben Deach takes us to the Republic of Molossia in the latest episode of Silver State Sites. It's located in Story County, not far from Dayton. And while it may not be the equivalent to actually ruling a real nation, it really shows what you can do if you're creative and want to put in the effort. You might not expect to see the flag of another nation flying just off Highway 50, but in the Dayton area, you will. It's what's called a micronation, and it's very interesting. They have their very own everything that creates a nation, currency, customs and border patrol, a railroad, post office, um, a president, of course, President um, Kevin Baugh. You know what, if you're going to play the part, you have to play it to a T and definitely pulls off the dictator, you know, as well as, as anybody I've ever seen. You know, moon over Parador, they have nothing on him. <laughs> he might dress more like a dictator than a president, but Kevin Baugh helped launch the micronation of Malasia decades ago. My friend James and I, we saw a movie called The Mouse That Roared uh, with Peter Sellers from like 1960. And we were really inspired by that movie to start our own country. And, and he was king and I was prime minister and after a while he moved on to other things but I stayed with it and once I got property here within northern Nevada I decided this was going to be the home to our nation. Micronations aren't officially acknowledged by actual ones but boss says a lot of them aren't even actual places which is why his has been a success. A lot of micronations, which is what Molossi is, don't actually have a physical location so there's no place to really visit. It's all online or you know it's a concept or something like that. And visit people do. Um, we actually flew from San Francisco. We canceled all our plan and we're like we're coming to Molossia and we woke up at like 6 a.m. to make it on time so that we're not late to meet the president. One thing that can't be denied is that Ba has fun with the whole thing. He says Molossia doesn't have a gold or silver standard but rather a cookie dough standard. We had Jack Black visit us, the actor, and, uh, and his, he rolled in with his whole entourage, every single one of them, bringing a tube of cookie dough. We were awash in that stuff for like weeks. Now, in addition to what you've already seen here at Malasia, the Republic, believe it or not, does indeed have its own space program. Whoa, oh that stop comes near the end of the tour, which, if you want to come to Malasia, you'll need to be a part of. A lot of people plan their vacations around coming to Malasia. So like um, some people said today, if I would have came a day earlier or a day later, I wouldn't have been able to go on the tour. The people are always welcome to come by the border and take a brochure and take some pictures at the border, but that's as far as we'd like them to come if it's not a tour day. We do consider Malasia to be a sovereign country, but you know, we do it with a little bit of tongue in cheek. We have fun with it, we have fun with the idea of what we can, of what a country is and what we can do with that. I really like that we do open other people's minds about how you can do your own thing and how we meet a whole bunch of people that are also doing their own thing. And it's just cool to see that everybody has their own different aspects of life. Now, you may not be able to go there anytime, which is what I prefer in Silver State sites, but there are plenty of opportunities to visit. If you want to do that, just head over to colotv.com and click on this story, and there's a link where you can book a tour. Noah?